We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Boston Red Sox. So striding forward now, Kevin Kiermeyer, And we are set for baseball here this evening. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Chasing after it is Pilar. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next will be the right handed hitting Jose Martinez. Hit softly down the line at first. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And that one got a piece of him. So one got in the inning here with the runner at first. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. The 1-1 one, one home. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Up next for the Rays, Hunter Renfro. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Hard hit ball to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Now at the plate, Jose Peraza. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The one two soft liner towards short and there's one gone to start the night so the base is empty here with one away and that brings up the outfielder Alex Verdugo the one one Strike two swinging. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier, making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. On to first, and there were two down. Next up for the Red Sox, J.D. Martinez. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Heading out towards shallow right. Meadows will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Yandy Diaz. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. misses and we're even at two and two now the pitch and here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning at the plate Brandon Lowe he's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest took him right up the ladder that time and it's one and two hey if he's going to get swings and misses that balls up and out of the zone he's going to continue to go there Bouncer to the left side, and that finds its way through for a base hit. That is seven. The first baseman, G Man Choi. At the plate, G Man Choi. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. From the stretch. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. 
Hey, if you're going to get a swing on a pitch that far in off the plate, pretty much options are wide open. One there on to Moreland, and they roll two to end the inning. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He was one of the stars from yesterday's game as he had three hits in the victory. The 1 1 home is looked at off the plate for a ball. Right on the corner, 2 and 2. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Xander Bogarts becomes the first out here in the bottom of the second. Fouled away. The 1-2. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Coming to the plate now, Kevin Pillar. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. In the air, out to right. Meadows moving back. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Top of the third set to get underway. Striding in, Willie Adamas. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Hit to third. Devers fields it cleanly. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So the leadoff man set down, and here's the catcher, Mike Zanino. Third inning, no score to this point. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Now the third Standing in, Kevin, Kevin Kiermeyer. 0 for 1 Kiermaier. here in the early going. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Moreland waits on it, and that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Into the box now. Christian Vasquez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field. And this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. Into the box now. Michael Chavis. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Renfro is under this one. One down. At the plate, Mitch Moreland. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Fouled off. The one two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So it's back to the top of the order now. No and digging Number into three. bat next, it'll be Second Jose baseman. Peraza. Okay. A 1 1. Peraza. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Peraza is slugging a little under the 400 mark. So the champ. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. All set for the start of the fourth. Striding forward now is the D.H. Jose Martinez. He's got to be looking for vengeance after getting plunked in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. All even now, two and two.
Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Rays DH. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Now back. Stepping in, Austin Meadows comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. The three one. And swung on and missed. A full count now. When you get yourself to a three one count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. One-one. Uh, swung on and missed, and that's strike two. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. And here's one that misses as the count moves to two and one on the Boston right fielder. Skied into straightaway right. Meadows has it, and there's one away. So one away here with the bases empty. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. One and two now as this catches the outer half. One ball. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone. Pop. A quick glove at third, and there were two gone. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And now, Rafael Devers. Curveball misses here, so a good hitter's count now to three and one. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Pulled toward right center field. Meadows moving back. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. set for the start of the inning and that will bring in Yandy Diaz first time up he went down looking yeah Maddie and hopefully he got it out of his system especially now he's got a bear down he gets the two strikes in this spot has to put the ball in play pretty good pitch right there fastball in off the plate one of the things you want to do as a pitcher try to stand those hitters up full count now three and two now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning Digging in to try it again. Brandon Lowe, one for one after a single this first time up. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Verdugo waits on it. Two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the corner infielder, G-Man Choi. The 1-1. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Here's the pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Verdugo will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move. And that ends the inning. Riding in for Boston, Kevin Pillar, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. The 2-1 home. 
doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. Hit on the ground toward the left. Adamas picks it up. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Stepping up now, Christian Vasquez. He went deep in his first at-bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. And it's two balls and two strikes now. A full count, three balls and two strikes. And the cutter can't find the zone as he surrenders the base on balls here. So here's Michael Chavis now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Call didn't go his way on 2 and 1, but it's important here on 3 and 1 to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. 1 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. The 2 2. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. And here's Jose Peraza. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. And he fights this one off here to foul it off to the left, and that holds the count at one and two. One and two. Here it is. This is in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Willie Adamas. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 1 2. To short. Bluff by Bogarts. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Stepping into the box, Mike Sanino looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The 1 1. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Mike Sanino goes down for out number two in the top half. A full count to the Rays center fielder. It's fouled away. Payoff pitch one more time. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Pilar's there. And the inning is over. Digging in once again, Alex Verdugo. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. Here now the 2-2. Is looked at and the count moves full. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Hold high in the air out to right field. Meadows moving back. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Here's J.D. Martinez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. And a jam shot here as this is sent towards second. And that's the second out. 
So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And Meadows makes the catch for route number three. Leading off the inning, Jose Martinez, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink this strike zone to like the size of a suit can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Softly hit out to short. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. One out now in the Tampa Bay seventh. Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. The 1-1. One, one. Popped him up. Vasquez is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Hunter Renfro. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat. Uh, one sec as that ball is into the gap in right center. Should be good for at least two bases. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. Yandy Diaz. Standing in now, Yandy Diaz. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Here's the two and two. Here's a shot to right field, and that's going to be in for a base hit. Now batting, number eight. So now to the plate, Brandon Lowe in the dirt and block behind the plate. The runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now, three and two. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Ready once again, Rafael Devers. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Line toward the alley in left center. And there's a base hit. So a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. Diego Castillo enters the ball game to replace the starter. And some may feel he was pulled a bit prematurely. Yeah, and I'm sure the lefty wants to stay out there, too. But this is one of those situations where the manager felt it was time to start playing the matchup game. With the right-handed batter up next, they're hoping this right-handed pitcher gives them a better chance to get it out. Two and one, the count of Pilar. From the stretch. Devers aboard here at first with nobody out. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Riding in once again, Christian Vasquez. It was a walk in his last trip. The 2 1 home lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three-two count with one out. 
there's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball, ball four anyway. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Christian Vasquez becomes out number two this inning. Slap hard the opposite way. And Meadows makes the catch for route number three. Manuel Margot will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 13, Manuel Margot. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. Stepping up to the plate, Willie Adamas. Couple of ground outs on his batting line in two trips so far. And he fouls this one off. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. So here's Mike Zanino. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball, one and two now. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that was strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pit. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Colin Poche is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 38, Colin Poche. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Ready for another shot now. Mitch Moreland, he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Two and one to the Red Sox first baseman. Three balls and a strike to count to Moreland. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind two and zero oh doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home, fouled away. Payoff pitch one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So the lineup flips over and digging in Jose Peraza. Now the three and two pitch. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Kiermeyer is there. Two gone. Digging in now, Alex Verdugo. It could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hit down the line at first. He's got it. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. 1-1 one, one home. Gets him out in front on a good changeup. And he missed with it up and in to even things at 2-2. Two and two. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience and it's full 3-2. and two. Man, what a performance he's been putting on in this one. He's grinding for that shutout right now. But you know... I gotta think a walk right here might put it into his day. The pitch count is getting up. 
Next will be the designated hitter, Jose Martinez. He comes into this at bat 0 for 2 with the hit by pitch. Ball 2. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. Reined in. Throw to first will be in time, and the Rays are now down to their final out. Now batter. Into the box the now. Field. Austin Meadows. Austin. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. So here's the cleanup hitter, Hunter Renfro. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth totally dominant in this one and that one run held up tonight one nothing the final the Boston Red Sox led this game from the third inning on and never wavered Chris Sale wins his third of the season as he struck out 13 in this one Brendan McKay is settled with a loss after giving up only one earned so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Pleszak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the, the show life. for more we'll make your way over tonight. to the show nation .com. Red Sox. one run on three hits one error they left four men on base for the Rays no run three hits no error they left five men on base Time of the ball game, two hours and 20 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Fenway Park, 37,755. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support and remind you to please drive home safely. Good night.